So when I arrived um, 2008, one of the early faculty coming on board to help uh, put everything uh, in place, one of the visions that I heard was that we're going to be 21st century. And I didn't fully embrace what that meant until I saw the lab actually um, built and distributed and constructed. Okay, So I walked into the lab knowing our school's vision is to be a 21st century institution. With that came 21st century technology, all right? And I totally embraced the Envision, which made me stay focused and dedicated to trying to spend the hours of learning the system and finding a way to make it work, and we made it work. I gave three slit lamp proficiencies, two tonometry proficiencies, which are lab exams, gonioscopy twice, I think twice. Bottom line is I was able to examine the students on the, the skills that they need for entry level competency without a teaching tool, 21st century, completely. If a student says, hey, Dr. Harris, here's my optic section, and we wanted to talk about the layers, whether or not this patient has on a contact lens or not, which in this example, it appears to be as one with a contact lens on, I can now broadcast this out to every station. So it used to be students would huddle around and uh, kind of look over each other's shoulder. Oh, one by one, look down a teaching tube. Now they can see it in math. And I would say to them, I said, okay, now, if you want to have um, better assessment of the layers, what adjustment would you make? Oh, increase my angle, they, and then they'll do it. If you want to make it an optic section, or excuse me, a Von Herrick, then they know they have to move into the limbus. So they can see it on the screen and immediately make those corrective measures when they go back to the slit lamp. So it's been an awesome tool, especially for tonometry. You know, to be able to see tonometry Myers and go, okay, stop, let's take a look at what you're doing. Oh, I should go left and right. Good, go left, right, up, down, whatever changes they need to make. If I say, please do thus and so, they turn right to the slit lamp and they do it. When we have student interviews and we bring the students on campus, part of the tour is definitely to come to the um, diagnostic procedures labs, definitely. And when they come in, you should see their eyes. Wow, this is so cool. This is, and they're looking. And, and feel free to take a tour of the lab yourself. But it definitely um, draws in their attention. And again, I think it fits the, the generation that we want to appeal to, which is today's technology. You know, I mean, from texting and social media, the whole everything. I mean, for them to come in and see a um, high-tech lab. Not every institution has this technology. And to the best of my knowledge, Western University has definitely been the pioneer in um, acquiring the Hawkstrait and the ICAP technology.